rollers. So what you're gonna need to do is have the rainbow set, uh, the color of class uh, equipment. So uh, the cones really don't matter what color you're using, those are just to create our corks. But we're uh, using all six colors, and we're using a hula hoop on the side, uh, just to kind of house the ball so they're not rolling all over the place. So we put three colors here, three colors on the other side, um, and then buckets, those are for our card collection. And then I also have some buckets in the middle with inside these buckets are my shape cards that are on my website for free under uh, phys ed, free phys ed files, uh, cross curricular I believe. So they're my little shape cards and they match the color uh, of the bucket it belongs to. So yellow and yellow, greens and green, so on and so forth. We took a oh, rainbow set of color bowling pins. If you have it, if you don't, um, what I would probably do is just the, use the ply spot underneath to match uh, the color for the kids they're gonna aim for. And that'll make sense in a moment. Well, we uh, put the cones down uh, the center and down the uh, half court line to make four quadrants, per se, or courts. So what the students are gonna do is they can start in any court they would like to start in. We have them roll from about half court uh, and across to the one color bowling pin in that court. The younger kids, we allow them to move forward and we played it a couple different ways. So the first way we played it uh, is they're going to aim for their team's color. All right, so I'm gonna roll the ball and try to knock down the red bowling pin. So I miss, I'm gonna get my ball and now I travel to a new court. I only get one roll at each court to try to knock down my team's color. So then I would come to the other court, I would locate the red bowling pin, be about half court, and then roll it again. And I got my team's pin. I'm going to put it back up. I'm going to get my ball. And I'm going to go to the middle. And I get one color card for my team. This is my point system. I get one card. Now, I can keep a hold of this, hold of the card as I go around to the other courts until I get closer to mine. Or I can take it over now and put it inside there. Let's say I'm going to hold on to it. So I did my one roll here, I move to the next court, I do my next roll, and I miss. So now I get my ball, and I go to the next court. So now I'm moving, this is where we get that extra movement. Try to get uh, some MVPA activity time in, and I miss, and then I go back to that first court where I started. Again, at any time I would like to put this in my team's bucket, I can. Sometimes our kids just held onto it the whole class period until the very end, which is fine too. Uh, at the end for scoring, we would just pick a shape or two or three for them to count, find out who won, and then they'd be done. The other way of playing it is they would stand in the court, roll the ball, and any color cone they knock down, bowling pin, sorry, any bowling pin they knock down, that's the color card they're going to get. So they would go skate up that bowling pin, let's say I knock down yellow, I would go get a yellow card, and I'd take the yellow card and put it inside my team's bucket, or hold on to it as well as I go around and then put it in my bucket later. Okay, so the other way is to let them knock down any bowling pin, but again, only get one roll, one roll, one roll as I go through court to court. So I hope that your students will enjoy this one. I'm Coach Bro reminding you to keep on moving.